What is good everybody welcome back to another my damn toys video today We're gonna be doing another WWE elite figure review on the ringside exclusive the Brian Kendrick <laughs> So you guys see the sticker right here, it says Ringside Collectibles Exclusive, and that does mean that the only place you can pick this figure up is Ringside Collectibles. Using the promo code MDTOYS is how we picked ours up. You will save 10%. This figure looks absolutely amazing. Uh, I think, I'm thinking it just like everybody else, that we are very, very late on this figure, guys. We should have got this figure at least like a year ago. You know, Brian Kendrick hasn't even been on television in forever, it seems like. And he hasn't really been involved in any big time storylines in that time like he literally hasn't been around in a while but we do have the figure now and it looks sweet uh you can see by the packaging we do have like some uh jewels right here some other jewels right here they're really studs they're not really jewels back there you got some uh, leopard or cheetah print you got the figure here on the back it does say the brian kendrick if you'd like to read this uh little bio you can go ahead and pause it now there is also a picture of brian kendrick on the back with his little jacket right there and that's pretty much it you got the brian kendrick instead of just brian kendrick i guess people don't get annoyed by it like everybody gets annoyed when i say the right back on mdt live um i'm not sure what that is but uh, you got a picture of brian kendrick on the side and that's pretty much it so let's go ahead and pop him out of the packaging so here we have Brian Kendrick out of his packaging, guys, looking very, very nice. We got some good stuff going on with this figure, which we'll get into. You know, he does come with two accessories, which we'll take a closer look at in just a few seconds. But uh, at first glance, this really does look like a great Brian Kendrick figure. Really does capture his likeness in the face can, in my opinion. Got the blue jacket on that reminds us of Finn Balor. But uh, again, guys, I'm very excited that we actually picked this thing up because, again, like I said, it's so overdue. I feel like we're missing so many. I wish that Mattel would do like a big old like 10 pack or six pack of elites, maybe make them ringside collectible or ringside exclusive and have like, you know, all the cruiserweights that were big time and storylines. That would have been awesome. You know, Buddy Murphy and guys like that that we haven't got a figure of yet. I think that would be absolutely terrific. But uh, anyways, guys, let's go ahead and get into Brian Kendrick's accessories and then we'll get into the figure itself. So like we said guys, he does have two accessories. The first one is his leather jacket in the navy bluish color. Got some black and silver going around the zippers and the buckles and everything are painted silver for some details. This is pretty much like the Rich Swan and Finn Balor rubber jacket mold but i think they did add a few things and remove a few things obviously you added this little silver cuff here and on the back there is no balor club itching it says brian kendrick with a heart and an arrow and then of course your little side thing over there so i mean this is a pretty nice jacket i wish it was cloth obviously um you know how mattel does they never give us like long sleeve cloth things unless it's like a robe they really don't do jackets and that sort of stuff so that is that and then we got his flag right here which looks absolutely amazing i'm so glad this isn't just a piece of cardboard or something they actually gave us like a flag like material so he got his little uh emoji thing here with his jacket and stuff on got the spear there and the heart you know he's like a pirate or whatever so that's what this is supposed to be like his flag he used to use during his entrance this is freaking nice i'm so glad again that they use like a flag like material it literally feels like one of those uh fake american flags you get at walmart or something so that's very nice i wish that he could hold this while wearing the jacket but it's pretty much impossible so hopefully maybe you can get him to pose with this if uh, he's not wearing the jacket but that's pretty much for his accessories guys now let's get into brian himself so getting into the head scan, guys, you see he does have that wide-eyed expression. And I think this looks a lot better than when we first saw it when Ringside posted the uh, prototype images. I just think that they calmed down the tone just a little bit on the eye sockets. He's not near as wide-eyed. I love the hair. I love the uh, facial hair. I think it really does capture him. Kind of looks like an Edge or Roman Reigns hairpiece, like shortened up a little bit. And I think it does capture it beautifully. We're going down into the torso. I think the torso is very accurate. You know, he didn't wear wrist tape or anything like that. So that looks good to me. Going down into the tights, we have his nice, like, silver metal dry brushing type tights. And I really like the way this came out. I think Mattel did a really good job of capturing the lightness to these tights. He does have a painted on belt, which I think works in this case. You know, sometimes they mold it, sometimes they don't. I think it painted on right here actually does work. But it looks like he has silver or black tights 
tights with like dry brushing over it and it really looks nice. Again, I think they did do a really good job. No knee pads on there and just plain black boots. There's really not much to this figure, guys, but it is the Brian Kendrick. We're finally getting one, so this is very nice. So now let's go ahead and uh, move on. So now let's get into some other Cruiserweight comparisons. And I believe that is all of the Cruiserweights I have. I know I'm missing Rich Swan because I used it to uh, make my Cedric Alexander there back in the back. But I'm pretty sure this is about it for all of the Cruiserweights that I have in my collection. But I do think that Brian Kendrick looks great with all these other Cruiserweights that we have gotten so far from Mattel. I think that they did a really good job on all of these guys. Obviously not Tyler Bate. His head scan was absolutely terrible. So I'd have uh, BEW come in there and, you know, do his magician-like work to it. But that pretty much does it it for the comparisons. But yes, guys, that about does it for this WWE Elite figure review on the ringside exclusive The Brian Kendrick Elite figure. Again, I really do enjoy this figure. I definitely do recommend picking it up. For the price point, I don't know. Is it worth getting a Brian Kendrick figure to you? You know, you know, I don't think he'll ever be in another series. So I think this is a pretty good exclusive because I don't think they're going to pump him out in another Elite line. I think the figure does look fantastic with the Cruiserweight Championship on there. I could not get him to hold the flag, which is is, you know, a downsider for me. You know, he really does need to be able to hold this. I know he didn't use it with a little pole, but maybe a little pole would help out this figure so that he could hold it. I really could not figure out how to put this thing on him. It just will not, you know, work. But that pretty much does it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like, comment down below what you think of this figure. Did you pick one up yourself? Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE and WWE figure related videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.